So I'm Rick Hansen. This is Wednesday Meditation. I'm really glad you're here. Uh, we had a guest teacher for a couple of weeks, Dr. Tina Rasmussen. Actually, she has a PhD and a wonderful teacher of steadiness of mind, concentration practices. And if you have any interest in going further with that territory, I heartily recommend Tina's work uh, in teaching what are called the jhanas and other forms of deep meditative absorption. Marvelous teacher and a wonderful person. Uh, I'm back again, and tonight I'm gonna talk about, and we can do a bit of a meditation momentarily about, letting go of anxiety, letting go of different aspects of fear, which I think is a perennial subject and also one that's very timely. Our schedule, as you may know, is we'll meditate in a moment for till 35 minutes past the hour. We'll take a 10 minute break and then at 15 minutes to the next hour, which is 15 minutes to 7 p.m. Pacific time, where I am, I'll give a talk uh, and then we'll open it up for some discussion, ending really close to 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, then after a few minutes of, of kind of waving at each other, saying goodbye, those who remain, usually there are 60, 80 or so people who remain, uh, are very welcome to stick around. And then Tom Brown, my co-pilot here, will sort you into Zoom breakout rooms of four to five people where you can chat with each other about the subjects I raised. Uh, I do ask that if you use the chat sidebar, um, that you don't do it during meditation. You're welcome to use it during my talk. Um, I'll glance from time to time at what people are saying to make sure that you can hear me and things like that. And I haven't gone totally off the deep end. And uh, if you do use the chat bar, the chat sidebar, please focus on your own practice and steer clear of advising or criticizing others. And you're very welcome to ignore the chat if it's distracting to you by just pushing the chat button at the bottom of your screen. Okay, so I'm muting you all, by the way, um, so that there's no background noise when you come on board. Um, and, you know, I apologize for that. And maybe if possible, there'll be a chance to um, talk with one or two of you uh, after I give my talk today. All right, so let's meditate. Your eyes can be open or closed. You might like, actually, related to anxiety, to begin by just sort of scanning your surround and orienting to it, knowing your place, and recognizing the familiarity of where you are, and keeping it simple opening to any kind of reassuring sense of the relative safety of where you are. You know, the ground is solid, supports your feet. You're in a chair, you know, feel the solidity of it. You know where you are. Ah. So you can afford to close your eyes and bring attention inward without needing to remain, you know, super vigilant. It's okay. You can let down. Taking some moments to check in with yourself. being aware of your body sensations and your state of mind. And as you can, accepting how you feel. People can say this in different ways. It might take the form of 
allowing. Or opening to your own experience. Or softly saying to yourself, it's okay that, that I'm kind of on edge right now. It's okay that my knee hurts. It's okay that I'm glad to be here. You're accepting. Simply accepting. Staying aware of your body, staying aware of breathing. You can recognize what's all right, right now in the present. Recognizing that you're breathing In the present, your body is basically okay. Many things are working fine inside you and outside you, even if some are not. Not denying what's a problem and also recognizing it's all right, right now. And letting this recognition of what is all right draw you naturally into a calming and feeling centered.
By the way, if it's useful for you, you can shift the focus of your attention from something like the feeling of breathing to the sense of calm or a feeling of reassurance in all rightness and become increasingly absorbed in this new object of attention, such as feeling calm, reassured, and centered in the present, letting go of needless fear. A sense of relief and calming can become your object of meditation if you like, staying in touch with it, opening into this experience of calming, allowing it to sink into you as you sink into it. And if your mind starts to wander, come back to something simple like the breath. And then later, if you want, you can shift your focus again to a different experience that you may want to become absorbed in. In the calming, find as well a sense of the heart. Be a simple sense of warmth or goodwill. Perhaps compassion for difficulty, maybe including your own. Could be a sense of a sort of friendly peacefulness. Or a serene love. The combination of the two. And as we rest in this peaceful, warm-heartedness, anxiety falls away.
And as we meditate, feel very free to stay simply with your breathing or perhaps stay with the feeling, the relief of what's all right, right now. Also feel free if you want to stay with the sense of a warm-hearted peacefulness. And you may find that as you do this, there can be a sense of a growing opening into a deepening stillness. Mind getting quieter. Increasingly untroubled. Increasingly surrendered. Surrendered into the whole of your consciousness, your stream of experiences. Openness, stillness. Not reached through straining, but reached through relinquishing, through letting go. Allowing the body and mind to become more tranquil, quieter. Widening awareness, opening. I'll be quiet for the remainder of the meditation. See what it's like to use these tools, including an opening, a releasing of doing, disengaging from doing inside your mind, simply being a stillness of being. 